Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we are going to be stitching on this one and I just call it Pink Flowers and I got it from Paint Some Way last week and it is 141 by 53. Yeah. And it's an 11 count, and I'm using 154 for my color. So how's everybody doing? It 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 it's Wednesday, yeah. It's it's Wednesday already. I don't know where these weeks go. I really really don't. I'm gonna try to bring it in just a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. I'll be glad when this week is over. So I have no idea what it's going to be like at work. Or if we even made an order. Because we may be to the point where we order every other week. So we'll see. I don't have any information. But I'm just kind of looking forward to peace and quiet. But we'll see how that goes. yeah so I started over here on this side and I got let me hang on gotta move it just a bit my bad so I did a little bit of that pink and a little bit of that rusty colored color I I don't know it's real close to this as far as that goes so we'll see what they look like together yeah yesterday took forever at work it was like busy and then nothing for an hour and a half then it was busy and like nothing for an hour and a half and we sell hot dogs and brats so i we must have gone through 25 hot dogs and brats for some reason it was national hot dog day i'm telling you That was about the only thing that kept me busy. But, I don't know, people were still coming. And I was running back and forth to clean the bathroom, and somebody was still coming in at 10 o'clock. I'm like, really? <sighs> I just wanted to go home. It was boring. I know. We're reaching the boring time of year. And everything. Because not a lot of people are running around there. Most of the people that, you know, came into the store were basically over 50. Because they come this time of year. But didn't see, I mean, some people had, um, they were younger people and their kids were not school age. You know, there's a couple people that had babies and that kind of thing. So they can go wherever they want because they're not waiting for the school to start and all that crap. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm telling you. Get the oh shoot, Dag nabbit. Did you see that? I left one right there. Oh, that irritates the heck out of me. And I was talking to my daughter this morning, and I stitched completely the wrong. What do you call it? Wrong symbol. Oh yeah, it was great. I had to take all that out. It was special. So, see, that's what happens when I get up, take two sips of coffee, and then start stitching. I need a little bit of turnaround time. Yeah. Because that didn't work at all. But all the stuff she was having to do or whatever, I guess I got stressed out and stitched the wrong symbol. And Oh, it was special. So. 
So, yay. We're just going to go down and fix that, and then we can just go from there. I don't usually travel very far with my needle, but yeah, I can't see threading a needle and going all the way back, so. Okay. We're on it. Can you see where I'm putting in this other color? Actually, I mean, get my needle out of the way here in a second. Let me get up and away from it. So you can almost see that that color. It's like the the bottom part of this this flower that sticks up there. Isn't that a pretty color? There's lots of pretty pinks and purples in this. It's just awesome. Loving it. So, yeah. What a day. Already. And tomorrow I have to go... Well, we were going to go down to Salida, the same place where the... Uh, what do you call it? The... Uh, the other thrift store is at, but they're by appointment only to get my driver's license renewed. So we're going to have to go up to Leadville where my son lives, but he'll probably be at work. So we won't get to see him and then come all the way back. I think we're going to stop off at the truck stop on the way into town and get um, they have individual pizzas they have a godfather's and a church chicken attached to this truck stop and so they just have little bits I mean you could order a big pizza but for lunchtime they have um, little pizzas you know that are personal size pizzas where am I going to put that this thing is so long, it's just bulky. I got it rolled up and pinned with my clips here. Yeah, I didn't know if you could see that. Oh, yeah. We're, we're just having fun. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And no, I didn't thread any needles. I just went with it. I like this needle, so I'm trying not to lose it. You know when I uh, thread five or six needles, the needle that I really like will get lost in the freeway there. So yeah, this is what I stitched on last night because, I don't know, it was just there. You know, I'd done my uh, floss tube yesterday. So they're still stacked up right by my where I sit and stitch. So I just picked this up and just started in. Some days you just need to stitch. And I probably could have sat there and stitched until 2 o'clock in the morning, but my hip was killing me. It's supposed to rain today. We have actual flood warnings out. So, yeah, it's another great day in the neighborhood. But... So it won't be too terribly warm today, which is a good thing. So yeah, not, not many plans. I haven't really thought it through, you know, as far as what has to be done this week. Or what I'd like to work on not it's one of those weeks I guess some weeks I oh yeah I want to do that and others not so much not so much so we won't be gone long tomorrow because it's not like we're going to Walmart 
or that kind of thing tomorrow. We didn't feel the need because it had been another 30 miles to go to the Walmart on that side of the mountain, if you will. It's, yeah, you have to go down a big old mountain pass and all that. No, that won't be happening tomorrow at all. Not at all. I missed the hole completely. Oh, goodness. This is a nice, easy stitch. There's lots of big areas. You know, I'm big enough areas, shall I say. They're not huge. I mean, of course, there's some huge places, but I like the material on this, and it's very easy to hold in your hand and, and stitch. <coughs> so, yeah. I guess we're working on this this week. How's that? We just kind of came to a conclusion. Sad but true, but that's how things work around here. Unless it's something I really, really want to work on. I Last night I did not want to work on Counted because, you know, it took too much energy to think. And I was... i got to put this on the floor. I was already in... Uh, Tired from sitting there at work, my brain was fried, so we needed easy, so we picked up the easy button, and here we are. But I thought I'd see how much I could get done on this flower when I felt like I was in the mood to stitch on a big one. And, oh, before I forget, yeah, the colors are changing up on the mountains. So it won't be too long before I've got to go up in the hills. So... We'll see. Now, last year, I think we went for my birthday. That's what I wanted to do was go up and do the uh, the fall pictures. So, it's about that time. They just haven't started changing lower, lower down, you know. It's way up there. I mean, if those are 14-foot mountains, then... I would say they're at the 14 to, hmm, 12 foot level. So, we have to wait. They're barely turning here. We have a few that's going to change, you know, here and around town and stuff. But that hasn't started. It started down in... Uh, Salida, because it's further... Oh, what the heck is going on with that? Yeah, did you see that? I just tucked my way right through that. Didn't pull that. Hang on. Oh, silly me. What the heck? Okay, we're just going to do this. We're going to fix this puppy's wagon. Hang on. Where's my needle threader? I'm sorry. Stop, 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 stop. I really need to move that bunch, but I kind of like them there. Okay, we're just going to go right back down in the hole. We came up. I may be able to squeeze those two. There we go. 
that worked out well. Seems like I just keep stitching in weird areas, you know, just like I just follow it along. It's not like I can stitch a whole section. And then I work my way to where you can't even get back to where you were at. I know it's odd but true. Okay, we're going to lose that thread. Hold that thought, folks. Hold that thought. So, yeah, I may or may not have any um, reviews this weekend. I'm not sure. Oh, it's like, where did my needle go? It's stuck to the needle minder. Thank you very much. It actually came in handy. Or it worked to my advantage. Let's put it that way. I thought, I won't need one. Oh, yeah. Stuff happens all the time. Well, I guess I can just lay that there. So when I need it again, we'll use it, right? I know it's metal, but, and it does, no, it doesn't stick to that at all. I was going to say, I thought that was pretty odd it stuck, but it usually doesn't. I don't know if they're made out of aluminum. Maybe. Who knows? I'm not in the threader business, so. But it doesn't stick to your needle minder at all. So, yeah. I'm just kind of tired this week. Don't know. We're just kind of. Taking it easy and not pushing anything. Sometimes I get too much going and even I can't keep up. Sure is a pretty color, that 154. I've had that in diamonds for diamond painting. I don't know if I'll even get out my diamond painting this weekend. We'll have to wait and see. I got one of those, one of these little, I think it looked kind of like this, only it was in pink, for my uh, granddaughter, and the end broke. I don't know if she's pushing too hard on the, you know, on the diamonds, or just what, but broke the plastic on the outside I realize they're not made you know too terribly bad and uh, that broke and she couldn't use it and my daughter goes well I guess you know you'll have to just use a regular pink pen she goes oh no I have another one from grandma she pulled out that what do you call it the mermaid tail one that I'd given her a hundred years ago because it was a single placer so it wasn't going to do me any good yeah, so she, and she, my daughter said she went right to it. She knew exactly where it was. So, like, okay. If it had been something important, you know, she wouldn't have known where it was at to save her soul. But she knew where that diamond painting was, or diamond pin that I'd given her. So, yeah. So I was going to take that one the one with the dolphin back over to her that I just got because she really liked that because it was small. It fit in her hand, you know. So, she liked that. I really haven't been much for buying, what do you call it? I'll call it like novelty diamond painting pins. At all, and then I realized she actually liked those, so we'll see if we can find any other weird or squirrely ones. Myself, I just like the, the I don't know if I got it right here or not. Maybe I do. No, 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 it's not here. But the kinds that are, I don't, I'll show you on this, but it's kind of riveted, uh, not riveted, but kind of has a curve to it and then it comes up and then has another curve on the other side 
I like those. Those fit in my hands really well compared to those silly pink pins that come with them. Because those are so small, it just puts a cramp in my hand after a while. I can use them if I have to, but I prefer the others. Yeah, they're not right here. I must have picked it up when I picked up the whole diamond painting. But you've seen me use them. And they're the nicest ones I've gotten from a store. You know, so. Other than what, you know, I used to have, the pink ones. That just come with the kids. So. And I know a lot of people have been selling that same type on Etsy. But they're really nice. And they're like five bucks. You know, they're not too terribly expensive. Looks like there's another thread i got to fix. I just go right through it and go back down my hole and it pulls it right into place. Come on. There we go. So if you have a loop, just go through the loop and go right back. You know, continue on with your, your stitch and it just lays it right out flat. Doesn't matter what color it is because you're going to pull it down anyway. That's the whole point, is to pull the, the loop or whatever if you didn't get your thread pulled just right. Trying to get to this big part, but I'm going around the barn on this one. I'm telling you. Just to get there. What is that noise? I had this, I don't know if it's a dove or a pigeon that comes up there and it's quite big. I mean, just eating stuff out of the, the bird feeder, being weird. Because I haven't had, well, I had those magpies, they were kind of big, but this one's big old fat dove, pigeon, whatever. I, haven't seen the difference putting them... Well, I do know what a pigeon looks like. We used to have pigeons when I was little. They, We lived in a, a section where the houses were older, so they had eaves up there, and they would roost up by the eaves and everything. There we go. Alright guys, well I think that's going to be it for today. I just wanted a little stitch with me to kind of start off the so-called week, if you will, the beginning of a new week. Thank you for joining me today. There we go. It's coming out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.